So most of the snake calls that go on are for me to remove and relocate venomous snakes. And the reason we don't do a lot of non-venomous snakes is because usually I can talk the person on the phone into letting the snake stay there. Um, so we're going on a call now that is for a non-venomous snake. And they I haven't seen the snake, they haven't sent me a picture of it yet, but they told me what it was. And I don't know if I believe them. <laughs> and I don't want to say because I don't want to jinx it. But this is what I think it is. This is gonna be freaking awesome. This is gonna be really, really cool. A like a once in a lifetime find. And we've already had a few once in a lifetime snakes come in. If, if it is what they say it is, it is the first one I have ever, ever, ever caught, ever. And I'm, I'm sure other people have caught them, maybe. But I've never caught one, I've never even seen one. Never even seen one. And I'm like, okay, I hope that's what it, but, but then I think, okay, well, you know, maybe it's a neighbor's pet that got loose and they think it's something else. What they think this thing is, is a snake that's native to Georgia. It's a wild snake that everyone's heard of before, but it's a very special one. <laughs> so, uh, okay, anyway, I'm very anxious to get here and I hope the snake doesn't escape before I get here. And then if it doesn't escape, I sure hope it is what they tell me it is. Cause this is gonna be pretty cool. <laughs> But I don't want to tell you because I don't want to jinx it. So let's just go and let's get there. All right, so hang on just a second. We have to stop right here and talk about king snakes. <laughs> yes, we are going to go pick up a king snake right now, but this snake you're looking at is a normal eastern king snake some people call them chain king snakes but the king snake we're here to pick up today is anything but normal now it's true what you've heard king snakes are immune to venom but not all venom so copperheads cotton mouse and rattlesnakes king snakes do have immunity to those uh, mainly the snakes that live where this snake does so a black mamba or, or you know things like that cobras these snakes don't have immunity against those and also even though king snakes like this can sometimes be found near coral snakes this snake is not immune to the venom of coral snakes even though this king snake will eat a coral snake so really great snake to have on your property and, and look at what he's doing this snake has anchored his tail <laughs> in the crevice of this rock back here and is very slowly crawling backwards <laughs> yeah you're watching a snake crawl backwards crawling backwards away from me while facing me standing his ground defending himself but not being aggressive not coming at me just wanting to get away but this is a normal eastern king snake or chain king snake so and the other cool thing is too the snake uh, gets several feet long and whatever size he gets they can pretty much kill and swallow whole another snake the same length as himself. Now, let's get back to what we came to find. Yes, it is an Eastern King Snake, but like I said, this one is anything but normal. How you doing? Good, how you doing? Good, man. Oh, well, I'm a man. Thank you, Lord. I'm Thank Jason. You. Nice to meet you. I'm Patrick. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, what you got here? You got oh, a little wow. dirty, but yeah, that is that, that is pretty incredible, right there. So, where did you find this snake? I just ended up walking outside. And I just walked outside and seen it coming through my grass, and it was like so. He was in the middle of this grass, yeah. this open grass, just yeah. crawling through there. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Let's look at this little guy. Real, I'm glad you didn't kill him. Huh? I said, I'm glad you didn't yeah. kill him. <laughs> Let's see here. 
Now that is crazy. So that is an albino eastern king snake. That is absolutely incredible. Come here, fella. Let me see you. <clears throat> that is really cool. Get really cool, out. yeah. Well, it looks healthy and I mean, that is a legit Alpino Eastern King, for real. That's cool. You know, when I was coming over here, I was like, this is going to be somebody's escape pet. Yeah. It, it could even be a ball python. This guy don't know what he's looking at. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Because <laughs> so, you never know, because so many people see snakes, yeah. and they're like, especially when it comes to being an albino, that they don't really know what they're looking at. Let's look at this guy in the sun. There we go. Wow. Yeah, and so, yeah, you know, I can see the dirt on him. So after we get him back, get him cleaned up, especially after he sheds one time, yeah, it'll be just a pure white with those, those yellow markings on him. That is really cool. Hmm. Yeah, my dad, I, I ain't never, my dad ain't never seen one. And... Yeah. That is really, really cool. Very cool. So in Georgia... If the snake is native and it and it's non venomous, yeah, it's protected. Mm -hmm. And so there's one license you have to have. Like if you call me and say, "Hey, I got a, a snake in my yard I want removed," you got to have a license to do that yeah. in Georgia. Now, there's another license that we have from the state. It's actually pretty rare to get, uh, where we can uh, because if we catch the snake with that license, we have to release it within 72 hours. You can't keep them. But we have another license that allows us to collect snakes like this from the wild, yeah. specifically to use for education. So that's how um, that's how we're able to legally <laughs> yeah. catch this snake and actually keep him. So that is really cool. You want to hold him? Have you held him yet? I ain't held him. You want to hold him? I mean, he's, he's being really calm. Yeah. Just support his body. He'll wiggle around and... <laughs> That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. When you see him do his nose that way, he's looking for a place to dig in where he can go and hide. Okay. See, in this bright light out here, and how, how he gets all active, let's move him back in yeah. the shade. Because uh, that bright light is probably, uh, his eyes are probably pretty sensitive to it. So, that is really cool. Here, let me put him in. I've got a pillowcase to put this guy in. Usually I don't have anything to put a snake in, but today I do. <laughs> yeah, I normally don't ever carry anything to put a snake in. I always ask the homeowner, do you got something I can put this snake in? But today I brought a pillowcase. Man, that snake is pretty. That's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fella. Yeah, that's like a once in a lifetime. <laughs> yeah, it is. Jeez. Yeah, so I've got <clears throat> I've got an albino king snake, but it's a California king snake. Oh, California. And it looks similar to this, but it's, that's it's, why it's I, that's different. That's why I kept on looking up. But yeah, yeah, California king snakes you can get those, um, but but this one's actually native to Georgia, which is will be really cool to show people. That's awesome. So, well, thank you, man. I All appreciate right. it. Y'all need anything? Call me anytime, and I'll send you a link to the albino rattlesnake video if you want to watch it. Okay. It's pretty cool. Yeah, thank you. See you later. See you, man. excited right now this is really cool this is so freaking cool <laughs> all right <clears throat> so <clears throat> when I was coming on this call this is not what I thought I was coming on and they even told me what it was and I was like no not an albino eastern king snake no that's exactly what we just got. <laughs> the Eastern King Snake is a pretty special snake to me because it's one of the first snakes I was ever able to keep as a pet when I was a kid. My parents actually bought me one. That was back when you could legally do that in Georgia. Now they're protected and you can't buy these or sell them or even possess them unless you have a license, which I think is a good thing. It helps protect them. Um, but you know, one question we get about king snakes specifically all the time is, Hey, if you get a, a king snake, someone doesn't want them in their yard, 
call me and you can turn it loose in my yard, you know, and get rid of the bad snakes. Well, first of all, there are no bad snakes. There's just snakes that people don't like or misunderstand. But, but secondly, that's not really how snakes work. If you have suitable habitat for king snakes, oh man, isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> I mean, if you have suitable habitat for king snakes, then you probably already have king snakes there, most likely, even though you don't ever see them. If I catch a king snake from somebody's yard and drive several miles away and turn it loose in your yard, the snake is probably not going to stay on your property. Um, you know, once these snakes become adults, they establish their own home range, and that's where they want to live. So just, you know, relocating all these snakes, especially long distances from where you caught them, is not very good for the snake. There's actually some studies that have come out to, to show this in several different species. And I'm sure, you know, there's some species of snake that you can probably relocate. I mean, look at Burmese pythons in the Everglades, but, uh, you know, timber rattlesnakes, um, and, and king snakes, and there, there are certain snakes that have been shown in studies that don't do very well once they're adults being relocated. Now, if it's a little baby juvenile snake, that can sometimes be a different story. Maybe we'll do another video about that to explain that in further detail. But um, these guys are just absolutely amazing snakes. Now, here's the question. Why would I take this snake from the wild? And there's a lot of opinions on that that differ quite a bit. So, you know, this snake uh, has survived in the wild to get, what is he, two foot long? So he's a year old, two years old maybe. So he survived for a while, but he probably wouldn't survive long term for many, many years just because of his coloration and predators can see him so easily. So, you know, and the story I got, the homeowner was going to kill him. So if we can get this snake from someone who doesn't like snakes and was most likely going to kill him and, 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 and save that snake, then I'm all for that. So I'm just happy that I was able to even see a wild, a wild albino eastern king snake. This is amazing.